seventh grade open up resources illustrative mathematics unit 4 lesson 14 percent error problem number one a student estimated that it would take three hours to write a book report but it actually took her five hours what is the percent error for her estimate five hours minus three hours equals two hours the two-hour difference divided by the five hours it actually took equals 0 0.40, which is 40 hundredths or 40%. The percent error for her estimate is 40%. Problem number two. A radar gun measured the speed of a baseball at 103 miles per hour. If the baseball was actually going 102.8 miles per hour, what was the percent error in this measurement? The radar gun reading of 103 minus the actual speed, 102.8. The difference is 2 tenths. 2 tenths divided by 102.8 equals 0 0.0019, which is 0 0.19% or 19 hundredths percent. That means that the percent of error in this measurement is 19 hundredths percent. Problem number three. It took 48 minutes to drive downtown. An app estimated that it would be less than that. If the error was 20%, what was the app's estimate? That would be 48 times 20%. We can write 20% as a decimal. That becomes 48 times 0 0.2 or 48 times 0 0.20, which is equal to 9 and 6 tenths or 9 and 60 hundredths. The 48 minutes that it took to drive downtown minus 9 and 60 hundredths equals 38 and 40 hundredths. This means that the app's estimate was 38 and 40 hundredths minutes. Problem number four. A farmer estimated that there were 25 gallons of water left in a tank. If this is an underestimate by 16%, how much water was actually in the tank? The unknown amount of water in the tank minus 16% of that water equals 25 gallons, which was the farmer's estimate. Think of W as 1W and 1W minus 16% W can be written as 1W minus 0.16W. So I can write the equation as 1W minus 0.16W equals 25. 1W minus 0.16W is the same as 100 hundredths minus 16 hundredths, and that's 84 hundredths. So now we have 84 hundredths W equals 25. Next, we divide both sides of the equal sign by 0 0.84 to make 1 W on the left side of the equal sign, and 25 divided by 0 0.84 is approximately 29.76. That means that there was approximately 29.76 gallons of water in the tank. Problem number five. From 7th grade unit 4, lesson 4. For each story, write an equation that describes the relationship between the two quantities. Story A. Diego collected X kilograms of recycling. Lynn collected two-fifths more than that. Diego collected X, but we could think of that as Diego collected 1X. And since Lynn collected two-fifths more than that, we can change this to fifths and just say that Diego collected five-fifths X. Lynn collected two-fifths more than that. So now we can add them together. Five-fifths X plus two-fifths X. And that equals a total of seven-fifths X. This means that Lynn collected seven-fifths compared to Diego's five-fifths. I've written an equation that describes this relationship. Y equals seven-fifths X. The Y represents the amount of recycling collected by Lynn, and the X represents the amount of recycling collected by Diego. B. Lynn biked X kilometers. Diego biked three-tenths less than that. Lynn biked X, or 1X, 
And since Diego biked 3 tenths less, we can change this 1x to 10 tenths x. Diego biked 3 tenths less than that. 10 tenths x minus 3 tenths x equals 7 tenths x. The equation for this story would be y equals 7 tenths x. y represents the distance Diego biked and x represents the distance Lynn biked. Story C. Diego read for X minutes. Lynn read four sevenths of that. So Diego read for X minutes or one X minutes. Lynn read four sevenths of that. Now this is not more than or less than, so we're not adding or subtracting. This is of. That means we're multiplying. So four sevenths of one X. That means four sevenths times one X. And 4 sevenths times 1x is 4 sevenths x. The equation for this story would be y equals 4 sevenths x. y represents the number of minutes Lynn read, and x represents the number of minutes Diego read. Problem number 6 from 7th grade, Unit 4, Lesson 12. For each diagram, decide if y is an increase or a decrease of x. Then determine the percentage. A. x is split up into five equal pieces. So 100% of x split up evenly by five would be 20% inside each piece. y is smaller. y only covers four of those pieces. So when x is worth 100%, y is only worth 4 times 20, which would be 80%. So that's a decrease. y is a decrease of x by 20%. b. Notice x is still divided up into 5 equal pieces of 20%. So that's 100% of x. But this time, y has increased beyond that with 3 additional boxes, each worth 20% y is an increase of x by 60 percent because 20 percent plus 20 percent plus 20 percent equals 60 percent problem number seven from seventh grade unit three lesson 10. lynn is making a window covering for a window that has a shape of a half circle on top of a square of side length three feet how much fabric does she need you can see the square in red with the side length 3 and the half circle window on top of it highlighted in blue. To find out how much fabric she needs, first let's find the area of the square. That would be the side length times the side length or 3 times 3. And that would be 9 feet squared. So for the square part of the window, you would need 9 feet squared amount of fabric. Next, we need to figure out how much fabric it would take to cover the window on top. That window is a half a circle. To find the area of a circle, you need to multiply the radius squared by pi. Since this is a half a circle, we'll have to cut that in half. The diameter of this circle is 3, and the radius is half of the diameter. So the radius of this circle would be 1.5 or 1.5. We need to multiply the radius squared. That means 1.5 squared or 1.5 times 1.5. That equals 2.25. We need to multiply 2.25 by pi. We can use 3.14. 2.25 times 3.14. That equals 7.065. But remember, this is a half a circle, so we need to cut this number in half. And half of 7.065 or 7.065 divided by 2 equals 3.5325. This means that the area of the half a circle is approximately 3.5325 feet squared. Let's add the area of the square and the area of the half circle so that we know the total amount of fabric that you'll need. Circled in blue, 9 feet squared plus, circled in blue, 3.5325 feet squared equals a total of 12.5325 feet squared. And that's approximately 12.53 feet squared. 
So to make a window covering that covers the entire window, Lynn would need approximately 12.53 square feet of fabric. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.